Well, I almost crashed today because of some asshole redneck hillbilly. What I thought was a water spot or a little puddle turned out to be a huge motor oil slick. Luckily, I noticed bottles nearby it right away and just narrowly avoided it. Some dipshit dumped his chair, there's a whole bunch of garbage around here, and here we've got gallons of motor oil that people are now running over. This is death on a motorcycle. This is, at the very least, a crash, thousands of dollars, maybe some medical bills. I would love to put a bullet in the head, whatever fucking hillbilly did this, and thought it was fun. And since nobody else around here is gonna do jack shit about it, I'm gonna clean it up as best I can. Not worried about what's on the ground, but I'm worried about what's on the road. So my life is worth more than 10 bucks in absorbent material and the time here. Ridiculous. And of course the cops around here are 100% useless. They don't do shit. I have called them for so many things. They just don't show up. They just don't care. My wife's like, well, why don't you call the police and they'll take care of it. Bullshit they will. They will do exactly jack shit. The county isn't responsible for it. And even if I call them, so these are all full. All full of used oil. How long is it going to be before it's cleaned up? This one's already cracked. Dumped all over the ground. Nice polluted groundwater there. That goes right into the ocean. That one's full. That one's full. Uh, this one's mostly full and of course this one is the one that went all over the road lovely I'll do the best I can to shoot got some over my glove I'll do the best I can here to get it off the road at least soak up as much as I can What's important is that I don't go down hitting all this oil. I'd say I'm worried about other people in the neighborhood, but there's like two motorcycles and that's it. <laughs> so let's see how this stuff does. I'm used to using the stuff that's like kitty litter. But this is all Home Depot had. It's a Zep brand. And it's more like a I don't know, it's got the texture of sand, but the consistency of powder, like a talc powder. There's nothing I can do about that huge swath out there. I mean, I don't have enough material. And it's all in the main road because people have been tracking it out, of course, with their cars. So. I think what's best is I just leave it here to kind of soak up. I was going to sweep it up, but this stuff isn't clumping like the, the other stuff I'm used to. And at least this way I can kind of spread it around as much as possible to help. So I'll go and dispose of this asshole's oil for them. It's even free at most places. It is literally just the effort of driving it 
hell to the next light quarter mile down the road there's a shop that takes oil another one block past that another one block past that I really hate people sometimes really do all right that's the best I can do I hope it helps the situation enough I'm certainly not going to go out of here on my bike for a while that's for sure that's all I can do screw you rednecks screw you